Hey, welcome to episode 5, part 5 of my AZ-104 free training course. Today we're talking about managing users and groups. What are groups? What are group membership types? What are What is a role-based access control? And how do you go about creating a dynamic group? And how do you assign access to resources? So what are groups? Groups are a container of users. In Azure, we can use groups to manage access to resources and apps using group type, membership type, and role assignment. It's like a cool group of pirates. It's best practice to use groups to inherit the permissions of roles associated with the groups and dynamic groups that provide us the ability to manage the user membership for these groups, and it will evaluate user types and associations, and depending on the associations of the user, the groups can add and remove users from itself so that the users only have permissions whenever they meet the association requirements that are being performed by the dynamic group. So being in the group is like being in a really cool pirate crew. You know, you're a part of something awesome and you have special permissions to do certain things related to your job task. So now that you know what a group is, let's go ahead and talk about the group types and membership types that we can use. So now we've got group types and membership types. Under group types, we've got security groups and security groups are used to manage access for a group of users. And Microsoft 365 groups, they could be used for groups to give members access to shared mailboxes, calendars, files, and other things that fall into the Microsoft 365 umbrella. Then we have membership types. An assigned membership type means that users in a group are specifically selected to be members of the group. And whereas a dynamic user Dynamic user membership groups allow for membership rules to be created that automate group membership via the user attributes. Then we have dynamic devices. With dynamic device membership groups, they allow for membership rules to be created that automate group membership via the device attributes. Classic administrator roles still exist, but Microsoft is recommending the use of Azure roles instead, unless using an Azure Classic deployment. We're just going to do a little bit of comparison between Azure AD rules and Azure roles. So with Azure AD roles, there's similarities between it. Like they both manage access to their own resources. But, you know, Azure AD roles access Azure AD resources, whereas Azure roles just access Azure resources overall. And they both support custom roles and the Azure AD roles is just at the tenant level, whereas the Azure roles can be at multiple levels. It could be the tenant level or the global level. And the main roles of either one of them on the AD side, you have global administrator, user administrator, and billing administrator. On the Azure role side, you have owners, contributors, readers, and user access administrators. Here we have an Azure tenant with Cameron as our global administrator. And we've established a trust relationship with a subscription that has resources. And using our global admin, we can do things like create groups. And we can create a pirate group here. We could create users inside of our Azure AD tenant instead of using our global administrator. And we could assign this pirate lady that we've created here the owner role of this pirate group. And then we can create other pirate users and add them as members of this group and then we can assign permissions to these resources inside of these subscriptions using Azure roles or RBAC roles, and they'll be able to access these resources in our subscription depending on the role assignment for our the pirate group. So now that we have an understanding of how to manage users and groups of pirates in Azure AD and how Azure AD tenants and its identity objects such as users and groups have an association with a subscription, we can wrap up this video, take a break, maybe grab a drink, and let's hop into the next video whenever you're ready.